Well, it's, it's an exciting day for us. Um, not only have we two new programs to talk about, but we have come to an agreement with uh, head coach for our men's program already. Um, and through the process of this, it's evolved really through a lot of conversations, beginning with the Great Falls Ice Foundation and my queries to them about how would we put this together. And through that process, um, it became pretty evident that the guy I needed to talk to was a guy by the name of Jeff Heimel. And I talked to Jeff, who's the coach of the Americans here in town, and we talked about how do we form this up and what do we need to think about and um, gosh, is it even feasible and how are we gonna get engaged with this part of the community and why would we go there to do this? And I just had a ton of questions. Um, and, and after that series of conversations, it became pretty clear to me that if we're looking for someone to run a program here, we want someone of pretty high character. If we're looking for someone to run a program here, we want someone who is really a mission fit. If we want someone here who um, can run a program and relate to the kids and possesses, possesses a lot of those intangibles that um, we look for in our coaches, um, man, all those things described Jeff Heim. And so we got serious about talking about him becoming the head coach and it makes perfect sense because I just have to tell you, um, the history of success he's had has really come in the age group and with the gender of the kids he's going to be coaching at the University of Providence. The visibility he has in this community already and the engagement with the Great Falls hockey community adds another click to the whole equation. I just don't know that I can say enough about this sort of marriage that we've created with a hockey coach who happens to have some visibility and credibility in Great Falls and our current situation of wanting to develop a new program here because he's done that on a number of occasions. So without further ado, it's my great pleasure to introduce Coach Jeff Heimel as the first men's ice hockey coach at the University of Providence. So Jeff. Thank you for the introduction. Really appreciate it. Some nice things there, um, and uh, and yeah, I'm I'm just I'm beyond excited. It's uh, it's a real pleasure to have an opportunity to do this. And um, like Dave said, it it was uh, it was pretty obvious once we started talking that this was a spectacular fit. So um, I'd just like to say a few things, some uh, acknowledgments. Um, I'd like to start by thanking obviously Dave and the University of Providence for this opportunity. Uh, words can't express how excited I am for what lies ahead. It, it truly is an uh, uh, unbelievable opportunity. I'd like to thank the Great Falls Americans ownership group, specifically Jim and Lana Keogh, as well as Quinn and Vanessa McKenzie and Tanner and Kimberly Heck. The faith that this ownership group showed in me over the last six years, uh, as well as the resources that they provided me, uh, were unbelievable. And they were a vital part of the on-ice success that we saw with the Americans the last six seasons. My family and I are forever grateful for the kindness and care that the Keogh family has shown us over the last six seasons. In addition to ownership, I would like to recognize the many coaches that I've had the pleasure of working with during my tenure with the Americans. Alex Drulia, Zach Bungarner, Eric Gatson, Dalton Garten, Blake Page, Josh Freider, Mike Walsh, our longtime equipment manager, Cliff Baird, billet coordinators, Carly Fox, and Vicki Bertelson, and, and my wife at one point. Uh, I would like to thank them from the bottom of my heart for not only the impact that they've had on making the Americans a premier program at its level, but also that they've had on my own life. I'm a better coach and a better person uh, for the time that we spent together. To the players, there are so many of them um, uh, that I can't even mention all of them. Uh, there would be too many to mention, but thank you to all the players for uh, the time with the Americans and uh, the work that you put into that program. Uh, to the fans and sponsors of Great Falls Americans, uh, this truly is a hockey community, and without the support that they had shown 
uh, that program would not be where it is today, and a, a sincere thank you for that. Uh, lastly, and most importantly, I'd like to thank my wife, Megan, uh, for everything that she has done to support me in my coaching. Uh, she's here today. Um, it's not easy being a coach's wife. There's some coaches here in the room, and, and, uh, and I'm sure that, that anyone that has gone through some of the stressors and the travel and recruiting and all the things that go along with it uh, can relate to, uh, to what she's probably gone through. And she's done it with yet so much happiness and such grace. And, uh, and for that, you know, I'm, I'm truly thankful. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, on top of that, she's an amazing mother, her two children, Christian and Preston, and I'm just uh, I'm blessed to have an opportunity to to share uh, this new chapter with uh, with my family. Uh, so thank you. I've always wanted to coach college hockey. It's been a uh, a long time dream of mine, and uh, you know, for the longest time, when we were having that discussion about where that would be, we just assumed that we would have to move. Um, you know, that was problematic. We we love it here. We were married here. Um, our two kids were born here. Very, very special place for us. And, uh, you know, by, I guess by God's will, and these, these green signs started appearing in Great Falls. So as I look up and see, you know, the huge green uh, signs, they're, they're tough to miss. And, and there's an aura about um, the things that are going on around here. And, and I was attracted to it immediately. And as Dave said, we started having some conversations. and. Um, and one thing led to another, and it became very, very clear that this was a good fit. And um, and gosh, we were excited that we didn't have to move. <laughs> um, what really attracted my attention is the vision that the university has, as along with the vision that Dave has in the athletic program. Um, he, he's driven, he's motivated, um, he, he's got an idea of what he wants, and um, I love that about this situation. It, it's exciting, very, very exciting. Um, and, and I'm just very, very proud and, and excited to be a part of this family. <clears throat> One final note, just regarding the transition um, between the role here and the role with the Great Falls Americans. Uh, I will be staying on as the head coach for the rest of the season with the Great Falls Americans. Um, the university has very graciously allowed that to happen along with the Great Falls Americans, and for that I'm very, very thankful. Um, there are 25 young men in town here that need their coach, and uh, we're as committed as ever to winning a championship for the city of Great Falls this year. Um, I'll continue to work with that organization, obviously, for a healthy transition, and um, just excited about uh, the coming months here at the University of Providence. We'll be, they'll be busy, and, and ones that will uh, be needed for establishing infrastructure, and, and obviously getting recruiting going for the 18-19 season. Um, so just again, thank you to everyone who's been a part of this journey. Um, I really can't wait to see what the future has in store for both men's and women's hockey here in Great Falls. Questions? I'm going to leave it down low. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you talked about how coaching college hockey was something you always wanted to do. Can you talk about why you wanted to move from uh, something like the Americans to coaching college hockey? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think it's a different dynamic. The Americans have uh, have been one that was a, a great challenge when I first started here, and um, you know, you're you're dealing with a slightly younger group of people, and and they need your help in a lot of areas. And now, you know, to enter the world of college athletics and have an opportunity to really um, see what that's all about, uh, to work with student athletes, to, to develop them in a different stage of their life is, uh, is exciting. It's a new challenge, and um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see what that's all about. <clears throat>